Hello, in this video I would like to show you how you can add custom fields to service management portal and then after you add uh, values to the fields you will be able to see the values in the service management portal request view. Okay, let's start. Uh, here is the application. So here is the portal. Let's say you want to create a new request. You push over here, get IT help. The view for the request opened. And now you can see here the new three fields which I added in my application. Uh, one is select color, so you can choose something. Then you can add the value, value one. Then you need to provide the summary. And then you can push uh, send and then your request will be created. And here is uh, the request view on the portal and as you can see you can see the values uh, which you just created okay now i'm going to explain how it all works okay here is the code uh, let's go first to manifest.yaml and you can see that i defined two modules here the first module is called uh, portal request create property panel uh, that's uh, the panel which is uh, rendered when we create a new request over here i will show you so that's this one. So this one adds the three fill. And uh, the second module, portal request detail panel, it shows these fields on the request view page. When we want to view our request, for example, uh, let's go to our requests. O over here. And then as you can see, these are our fields. Okay, let's start with the first module, the one which shows the fields on the create request portal view. Uh, here is uh, the code. So if we have a look at the code, first of all, we define a form. And in this form, I defined uh, three fields. One select field, one text field, and second is also the text field. And then I de define on change events for the three items. So I call debounce on change over here and which calls on input change handler. Here it is. So what I'm doing here. So I've got here a structure, this new field data, which contains all values for all the fields, for all the three fields. And then I'm just taking the value and add it to the structure. And then I iterate through all the fields. If uh, the field is need to be validated, I validated it. And then I submit this form data to Jira. And then when I push the create button on the portal view, Jira create issue properties uh, for, for the created uh, request. Let's see how it looks like. Here I executed a REST API in my browser. You see that's uh, the key of the issue and that's uh, the property. Uh, the property has a key which equals to the ID of your application. I, I will show you later how you can get it. Okay, so now as you can see, this property has our fields. Key color, so the name of the fields, that's the value. Custom field has this value and custom field two has this value. The issue has a property with the ID of our application. And then let's have a look at the portal detail view. It's this one. How it works. We go to portal details. Now, as you can see, I added here also the same fields. But the magic is over here in, in, in use effect. So first I get the context of the form. Then the context we've got local ID. And then from this local ID, I get the ID of our application. I get the ID over here. And then I execute request to Jira REST API issue. I get the issue key also from the context properties and, and that the ID of our application. And then I get the props. And now the next one is just to put the props as values. Here I iterate over the props, I find uh, the value for the field and just put it into the field. That's all how it works. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you. Bye.